Pluto is a far-off and secretive midget planet, once an individual from our solar-powered framework's planetary family. Anyway, later alarming declarations by driving astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku have brought Pluto back into the spotlight with a stunning disclosure. They propose that this frigid world is on a potential impact course with Neptune. Yet how is it that this could work out, and what might be the outcomes of such a huge occasion? Are we seeing an intriguing cosmic peculiarity? Or is there something else to this approaching enormous impact? Join us as we investigate the conceivable outcomes of a Pluto-Neptune influence. Pluto, a previous planet that was downgraded to a Bantam planet, incompletely because of its unconventional circle, remains a subject of interest and concentrate in the galactic local area. As per late expectations by driving researchers, Pluto's direction is perilously close to Neptune's. Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku are both raising the red banner of a potential dangerous crash between these two planets, which could be a gigantic danger to Earth. How is such an occasion even conceivable? Pluto's excursion around the Sun is not normal for some other planet in our planetary group. It takes a stunning 248 years to finish a single circle, meaning since its discovery in 1930, it hasn't even completed one full upset yet. But the interest doesn't stop there. Pluto's way is set apart by its exceptionally curved shape, digressing altogether from the almost round circles of the significant planet planets. What makes Pluto's circle considerably more impossible to miss is its tendency, calculated 17 degrees to the ecliptic plane. The way Pluto follows is a lot more extreme contrasted with the other planets. One of the most charming parts of Pluto's circle is its convergence with Neptune's way. For around 20 years in each circle, Pluto, as a matter of fact, draws nearer to the Sun than Neptune, opposing what we could anticipate from their situations in the planetary group. This prompts the regular inquiry. Why hasn't Pluto crashed into Neptune? The answer lies in the gravitational impacts of different planets. The investigation of Pluto's circle started not long after its discovery. At first, cosmologists attempted to figure out its remarkable direction. Dissimilar to different planets whose circles lie moderately near the ecliptic plane, Pluto's way stuck out with its lofty tendency and curved shape. The mystery extended with the acknowledgement that Pluto's circle as a matter of fact crosses Neptune's. The soundness of Pluto's circle in the midst of these intricacies is evidence of the multifaceted design of space mechanics. The three-body issue in space is tied in with sorting out how three things in space like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun move and influence each other with their gravity. Pluto's circle is indeed turbulent. Minor deviations in beginning circumstances lead to massive contrasts over a huge number of years. However, these novel properties of Pluto's circle have been found to keep up with dependability over extraordinarily lengthy timescales, truly keeping the disarray under control. Ongoing PC tests have assisted us with grasping how the large planets like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn influence Pluto's way around the Sun-Jupiter's gravity alone is sufficiently able to keep Pluto on a steady way for a truly lengthy time, even billions of years. These peculiarities are fundamental in the unique circumstance of the universe for keeping up with the request and consistency of room's development. Without these systems, the nearby planet group as far as we might be concerned would be a spot of a lot more prominent bedlam and capriciousness. Pluto's circle is a striking illustration of divine mechanics at play, exhibiting both strength and bedlam inside our sun-oriented framework. The novel qualities of its circle, influenced by the gravitational powers of adjoining planets, especially Neptune, grandstand the perplexing and dynamic nature of room. Anticipating vast occasions, particularly when it involves tumultuous circles like Pluto, presents huge difficulties. The intrinsic eccentricism of these frameworks implies that drawn-out conjectures are frequently loaded with vulnerability. While mathematical reenactments give a solid means to comprehend and expect the future ways of divine bodies, they likewise feature the restrictions in our prescient capacities. So why are major astrophysicists just now raising worries about a potential crash among Pluto and Neptune? Regardless of all these mind-boggling powers attempting to keep such an occasion from happening, Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku, both unmistakable figures in astronomy, have communicated worries about a possible crash among Pluto and Neptune. If Pluto and Neptune were to impact, it would be an uncommon and horrendous occasion in our Sun-oriented framework. 
the impact would deliver an enormous measure of energy, likely breaking Pluto given its more modest size. Also, frosty organization flotsam and jetsam from the crash could spread across the sun-powered framework, possibly making dangers for different planets and their moons. For Neptune, such an impact could change its environment and possibly its circle, contingent upon the points of interest of the impact. Michio Kaku, a prestigious hypothetical physicist known for his work in string hypothesis, brings a novel viewpoint to the discussion too. His seize on the fate of room investigation and the exchange between divine mechanics and hypothetical physical science offer profound bits of knowledge into the secrets of space. Peculiarities like Pluto's circle offer an outline for how we could approach and comprehend far-off universes. When it comes to the material science of planets, divine mechanics and hypothetical physical science are profoundly related. The developments and interactions of planets, for example, the gravitational dance among Pluto and Neptune, are associated with the central standards of physical science. If Pluto and Neptune were to impact, it would be a fantastic occasion in astronomy, offering a unique observational opportunity that might actually connect with string hypothesis. String hypothesis, a hypothetical framework in which the point-like particles of molecule physical science are supplanted by one-dimensional strings, looks to portray the key powers and matter in the universe. The impact could offer bits of knowledge into the way of behaving of major particles and powers under outrageous circumstances, a key interest region in string hypothesis. While the immediate effect on Earth would be irrelevant due to our distance from the external nearby planet group, the logical ramifications of such an occasion could be significant. It might actually add to how we might interpret the key nature of the universe as portrayed by string hypothesis and other areas of hypothetical physical science. Pluto's mysterious dance around the sun proceeds to charm researchers and aficionados the same, offering a window into the intricacies of divine mechanics. While its characterization as a diminutive person planet ignited banter and redefined our comprehension of planetary bodies, later disclosures about its circle have reignited interest in its job inside the nearby planet group. Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku, two unmistakable voices in astronomy, have raised worries about an expected impact among Pluto and Neptune, revealing insight into the intricate elements at play in our grandiose neighborhood. Their alerts highlight the significance of understanding the gravitational connections and orbital mechanics that govern heavenly bodies' developments. Pluto's circle, characterized by its unpredictability and steep tendency, overcomes ordinary presumption and challenges our perception of planetary movement. Dissimilar to the moderately roundabout circles of its adjoining planets, Pluto's way follows an interesting direction, meeting with Neptune's circle at focuses during its long excursion around the Sun. The gravitational impact of different planets, especially Neptune, assumes a critical part in forming Pluto's circle and keeping up with its steadiness over centuries. In spite of the turbulent nature of its direction, Mathematical reproductions have uncovered hidden examples and components that assist with directing its movement, preventing catastrophic impacts with adjoining divine bodies. The three-body issue in space, including Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, encapsulates the complicated interchange of gravitational forces and orbital elements that govern the behavior of divine objects. Grasping this complex framework requires refined numerical models and computational simulations, which give valuable insights into the long-term evolution of planetary circles. Pluto's status as a Bantam planet has ignited debates about the measures for planetary order and the variety of heavenly bodies within the planetary group. While its little size and far-off circle put it aside from the conventional meaning of a planet, Pluto's significance as a heavenly object keeps on inspiring logical inquiry and public interest. The investigation of Pluto's circle stretches out past the bounds of our nearby planet group, offering insights into more extensive actual peculiarities and the fundamental laws of physical science. The investigation of Pluto's circle not just develops how we might interpret divine mechanics, but also offers a brief look into the more extensive setting of planetary elements within our nearby planet group. Beyond its classification as a bantam planet and the ongoing debate surrounding planetary definitions,